In this episode, we're gonna show you how to easily add 8% to your open rate when sending out newsletters and promotions. Stay tuned. So to start off, go to MailChimp and log into your account. You should see a dashboard with different things and go ahead and hit click campaigns and you can see your opens from there. So if we scroll down, we're gonna work on this one right here. We have 42 opens um, at 23%, which is fantastic. But what about the other, you know, 75 and a bit percent? Why they didn't open it, I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and resend to just that group segment. So to do that, so hover over the campaign itself. It says view report or has an arrow to the right of it. Click the arrow and click replicate. We're basically gonna send an exact copy of that email uh, to the people, just the people that didn't open it the first time around. When we're here, MailChimp asks, who are we sending it to? It says entire list, which this particular one has 182 people. A segment or a new segment, which is what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and click new. Down under new segment, it says contains contacts match any. You wanna change this to all of the following conditions. So the conditions we set are campaign activity that we have sent. So was sent and pick your last email. So our campaign activity was our last email and also the campaign activity did not open and then the last email. It always defaults the last five campaigns, but for this particular video, we are showing just the last email itself. So I update and it shows that 144 people did not open the last email. So we're just gonna go ahead and send that. The biggest reason again for doing this is according to MailChimp's numbers, they said you'll get an additional 8.5% of people squeezed out of just sending them the exact same thing. If you change the subject line or change the sender, they actually see a fall in that number. So if you wanna squeeze another 8% out of your people, just send them the exact same thing not right away, it's recommended to wait a day or so, um, and then send it again. And it can be a day, it could be a week, etc. So I go ahead and set that up. I'm gonna go straight down to confirm because I don't wanna change anything else. I don't wanna change the design or the subject line or anything else. And then that all looks good. We'll go ahead and hit send and confirm it. So now it sends it along and you'll have an additional report. And what's nice about this is we already had 23%. Adding an additional 8% is huge. Um, it's a little bit more than half, but it's still a really great number depending on your list size. Again, if you have any questions about this or anything else, please let us know in the comments. Also, we'd like any feedback about this video or any insights that you may have that we missed. Just leave them in the comments below. And if it's helpful at all, give us a subscribe by clicking the red button. Thanks so much for watching.